Financial Survival Network, helping you survive and thrive in the new economy. Go to carrylutz.com and sign up for 30 free micro trainings on financial survival. 1490 WGCH, this is Kerry Lutz. You're listening to the Financial Survival Network. And if you think or you thought that the foreclosure crisis is gone, that everything is fine because it hasn't been in the papers lately, think again. I've got Steve Skidmore. He is Chief Communications Officer for Endless Fraud Detection Services, which is located in Austin, Texas. And he's got a unique take on the entire foreclosure debacle. Steve, how are you? Fine, thank you. Gary, I appreciate the opportunity to come on with you. And we're glad that you came on because there's so much confusion about this foreclosure mess. What would you say the top three issues are if somebody's, if you're getting foreclosed on, if you've gotten a foreclosure notice, what are the first three things you should do? Well, uh, the first thing that I would ask is, who is this who is foreclosing on me? Do they own the paperwork that they're saying, that the original paperwork that they're saying that they have? And uh, are, you, are you treating me fairly? Have there been any crimes committed here? Um, Ownership of the documents is very, very important. Uh, you can't sell or foreclose on something that you can't prove that you own. Uh, this goes back to the, the show me the note uh, process, but uh, it's been found by, by many who have used it that uh, the show me the note's fine, but it's not grounds enough in and of itself to, uh, to get the courts to see what you're, you're trying to convey to them. So uh, we found it very important to, if you're, if you're trying to paint a picture, so to speak, I'll go into an analogy. If you're trying to paint a, a picture, it would, you could paint the best picture if you had the most colors you could possibly put on your palette. What kind of colors am I talking about? I'm talking about the, the choice of law. Uh, there's different types of, of uh, offenses, legal offenses that come up in mortgage and foreclosure issues. Uh, some are on the civil side and some are on the criminal side. There's a lot of places that have cropped up in the, in the uh, recent uh, years trying to address uh, a lot of these issues on the civil side, but nobody so far uh, until we came along is addressing anybody, uh, any of the issues on the criminal side. What types of crimes am I talking about? Forgery, fraudulent filing, uh, inducement to uh, inducement to sign a fraudulent instrument. Uh, things of this nature pop up. There are several different types of, of forgery, many different ways one can commit forgery, either by signing someone's name who is not yours or by taking upon yourself a fictitious title. Uh, we found uh, in... Anytime there's an, uh, what we're doing is in, is uh, private investigations. Uh, keep in mind that uh, Endless Fraud Detection is a licensed private investigation company. Our uh, Texas license number is A17660. I uh, just had to put that out there. But um, sure. we are, uh, as a licensed private investigation company, we can have an investigator look at the public records. What they're looking at are the signatures, the seals, and the expiration dates, along with filing dates and uh, other issues found in the documents. Uh, the issues that they're looking at is signatures. Who is signing these things? As soon as they can identify somebody who is signing these documents, they'll look at what, in what capacity are they signing it. Is it just a signature? Is it a stamped name? Is there some type of title attached to the signature, such as assistant secretary or uh, vice president of some whatever? A background check can be done on that individual and found uh, and find issues such as uh, one lady that was found that she was her prior occupation was a receptionist at a Chevrolet dealership. Well, how did you get? 
from the Chevrolet dealership to a vice president of a major lending institution. That's right. a big leap. Okay, so if I'm getting credibility on robo signing, sure. So if I'm getting foreclosed on, if you're getting a foreclosure action against you, and you want to do something about it, you go to endless fraud detection. What is it? What's the end result of the work that you're doing? How is that going to help that homeowner? Well, uh, basically, what is the what is our client's money going to get them? They're going to get a report from a licensed private investigator, uh, along with a uh, it's verified by affidavit, a copy of their resume. Uh, the individuals that we use uh, have a great deal of clout and credibility because the the license holder, the private investigator, that is, is uh, either a former or current law enforcement uh, in, in, the capacity, in several different capacities, uh, ranging from uh, an off-duty uh, sheriff's deputy to a former CIA agent, literally. Uh, when, when somebody of the, with this background is presenting evidence that there's been criminal activity or the, or the possibility of, of uh, criminal activity uh, to the table, something's got to be done. Right. So and, does this usually end in the foreclosure getting dismissed or lost by the, by the uh, foreclosing well, party? We, we highly encourage, we very strongly are, uh, encourage all of our clients that once they have something to take to an attorney, please take this to an attorney. Uh, sometimes these reports can be very technical. And, I, you know, I wouldn't want to, myself, I wouldn't want to leave the safety of my home uh, up to my own devices if I, if I wasn't already very well learned, uh, learned in the law. But... Uh, the uh, the criminal aspects that are that are revealed in uh, in these reports can be taken to uh, I suppose any uh, prosecuting criminal attorney a DA perhaps mm -hmm. so so basically you get to the bottom of exactly when the mortgage got made and and the loan was made and how it got to where it is now where the foreclosure is taking place and there could be a lot of improper things that took place. Uh, how many uh, mortgages have you investigated where you've seen that everything was done properly? Well, um, if certain documents were filed on one day, but signed several months prior to that's that's uh, a red flag, definitely. Um, there are several issues, and keep in mind, I'm, I'm not a, a private investigator, but uh, there are several issues found in what is filed into the county records, and that's, that's strictly what the, uh, what the investigators are going to do. Now, if there are any uh, supporting documents that the, the, the client would have, that might help in the investigation. We encourage to encourage our clients to send us everything they got. Sure. So just because you get a foreclosure notice doesn't mean that it's over. So it ain't over till it's over. In other words, no, no, by far, by far. You see, once, once an actor is caught in the act of committing a crime or possibly committing a crime, anything, just about anything they do to try to prove their point, in a record of a court or in a public record it can only worsen their position. So, you know, keep in mind that, that the reports that, uh, that our company does documents everything that's taken place up to the time in the, uh, of the investigation. And I would think that, uh, anything that would happen subsequently thereafter would probably be, uh, uh, amended or, or, uh, supplemented to an existing pleading mm -hmm. so by counsel that is. Yeah, so you can really catch these uh, these banks or whomever is foreclosing. You can really catch them unawares, uh, making a lot of false statements or statements that well, can't possibly be true. Huh? There, there are some uh, issues that the uh, that the lender would have have created, but we find most of the. Uh, 
most of the potential criminal activity that's uh, taking place is in, uh, more in the foreclosure process than it is in the in the loan process itself. Right, and what kind of crime? The loan process being more towards the uh, to, towards the civil side. What kind of crimes do you see getting committed in the loan process? Uh, well, if it can be determined that the the loan documents are fraudulent in any way, uh, particularly a lien instrument such as a, a mortgage or deed of trust document, uh, and this document were filed into the county records, as most mortgages and deeds of trust are pursuant to uh, statutes and and uh, pooling and servicing agreements and and other issues. But if it can be determined that the the documents that were used to foreclose were fraudulent from the very beginning, then somebody filed that fraudulent mor- those for fraudulent mortgage documents into the county records. Wow. But it's a crime to do that across this country. Sure. In some states, it's a, a high level misdemeanor. In other states, it's a low level uh, felony, but no less a crime. All right. So, just advice: uh, somebody gets a foreclosure notice. Um, do they call you first or do they, I guess they really sure. need to uh, go well, to an attorney. Uh, either to, way, either yeah. way, if, uh, if they, if a client currently has counsel, we can work very closely with counsel and, and provide the client and counsel, uh, the same evidence, uh, that evidence would be forwarded, uh, from the company to both parties. Um, the, uh, clients who do not have counsel, um, we are currently working on a database trying to find uh, counsel who who understands uh, the issues to to uh, try to fill that niche. But uh, it's it's been uh, very difficult, very difficult indeed to to find um, counsel that's that's really up to snuff on on all of the uh, very intricate details of of the civil side now. In criminal issues, it's it's a lot simpler. It's a lot easier. Uh, you notify the right parties. So if people want to learn more about endless fraud detection, how can they learn more about you? Uh, they can uh, go to endlessfrauddetection.com. And the uh, third button on the right there on the landing page is contact us. You can click that contact us page and uh, you contact us either by telephone, dial 1-800-800. Seven eight eight two one nine eight, or drop us an email there at the bottom of that page, and uh, somebody will send you a, a, an initial contact. Your inquiry will be forwarded to uh, somebody in the company. All right. Well, Steve, hey, thanks for being on the show. We appreciate you. the heads up there. Let's see what happens because the final word on this massive foreclosure scheme has not yet been written. Thank you for the opportunity, Carrie.